I went into my bag and took out the papers from the agency and looked over them. They clearly said that Kevin was 15 months old. I showed them to her and she laughed again. Well, he is small for his age, but not that small. Mom. Stop talking about me like I'm not here. Kevin spoke up for the first time. I'm sorry, sweetie. His mom said with a wicked little grin. Kevin, let me introduce Carolyn. She might be staying with you this summer while I'm out of the country. Carolyn, this is my little boy Kevin. Hi, Carolyn. It's nice to meet you. Mom can be so weird. Sorry about not coming down to meet you, but the medicine really makes me tired. It's okay, I said, I understand. You get your rest, Kevin, Carolyn and I need to talk. Mrs. O'Neill said. I'll see you at dinner, she added as she kissed him on his forehead. He squirmed but smiled as she did this. I think you might have a fever, I'll be back in a little bit to take your temperature. We went back to the living room and Mrs. O'Neill laughed. Well, I can see Kevin isn't what you were expecting. But if you can put up with the disappointment of not having a toddler to look after, I think you would be great. Kevin's eyes lit up as soon as he saw you. I think he might even have a bit of a crush on you. I thought for a moment and then I said that I'd love to do it. Great, now let me tell you a bit about the care and feeding of Kevin O'Neill.